Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this episode, we've now got our characters spawning for the live 2D characters, but they're just still images right now. They're, they're not actually moving, so we need to get those characters rendering the animations that have been created for them and start giving them their own life, which is so special about live 2D characters. So the very first thing that we'll notice is if we come into under animator, first of all, this animator is our root animator. So this is just gonna control the same motions that we have for sprite characters. But underneath on the uh, actual 2D character or live 2D character itself, we've got all these cubism components. And we've also got an animator in here, but that animator has no controller, which means that's why it's not running any animations. But with these characters that we have, if we look down into the live 2D, um, packages here, the, the samples for these characters, if we look under Mal, because that's who I have open here, then we have these two folders for expressions and motions. And motions are the animations, while expressions are the different setups for, like, their facial expressions and just things that have been created inside of Live 2D to control individual aspects of the character. Uh, so we're going to work with motions right now. And that's just going to require us to create an animator controller with all of these different motions on them. Now, if you look in the main folder of your live 2D character that you've imported, uh, there is an animator controller that's already created for the character. But if we open that up, it has nothing in it. So we can use this. And we'll go into project and we'll just go ahead and drag that into our animator component. And I'm not going to bother taking this out of play mode just so we can see what we're working with here. So then inside of our animator, let me drag this up here. Actually, you know what? I am going to just go ahead and turn that off. So let me just come into the Mal prefab here and make sure that I assign the Mal animator to that component. Okay, so now let's go ahead and look at that animator and let's go into our motions folder. So these motions are not really named anything where I know what they are, so, but I can go ahead and copy all these or control select them and then drag them into the animator controller. And automatically the first one gets selected as the default and that's going to uh, probably loop. We can look at the animation. Yep, it's looping. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like. I'm not sure what animation that is, but bringing it into play will show me. All right, cool. So just a little idle animation. Now I'm gonna take the animator panel down here, that way I can see what I'm working with, and I'm gonna write, I'm actually going to uh, come up to the name here and change that to idle, because that's a fitting name for it. So then let's right click, set as layer default state for this one, and well, I don't know what you would call that, but yeah, bounce, I guess? Okay, yeah, maybe bounce. Okay, so let's look at MT3, set as default, and then that one, I'm really bad at naming these things. I don't know what to call that. Happy Lean. Let's check out what number four is. Um, this one is some kind of, looks like she's pleased about something, so I'll call that pleased. And then we've got two special ones here. I wonder what those are. Let's go ahead and set that to default state as well. Oh, okay, she's drawing a heart. That's nice. Okay, cool. So magic, <laughs> I like that. So magic heart. And let's go ahead and try this one. What's that? She's making another heart, but this time it's blue. Oh, so like a healing heart, I guess. So healing heart. Okay, nice. So we got all of these set up. All these animations are now named and ready to go. So how you control these animations is up to you. Obviously, it'll be your character and you'll know what to do with them. For this character, it looks like I can play these animations once and then maybe have them transition back to idle. So I'll go ahead and make a transition from each of these magics and bounce. What was that like again? This one looks like perhaps it can be one that loops on its own. No, it's got kind of a snap in there. So I'm actually going to make all of these go back to idle. So they'll play once and then they'll take her back to idle because none of these seem to be like a, a posture change. They're just random animations to convey some kind of temporary emotion. 
So once they finish up, they'll go back to idle. But let me just make sure that I set idle back as the default state. Okay, so now we can go into our live 2D character and make it where we can set the animation or set the motion for this character to whatever we want here. So let's go ahead and open up our character live 2D object. Okay, so we are completely empty here. We don't have anything special going on, but what we're definitely going to need is a reference to that animator that we have. We've already got the root animator, but now we need the animator specifically for the live 2D character. So I'm going to make this a private animator and call this uh, live... I'll call this the motion animator. And inside of here, we've already got anim. Animator should be the root animator. So we can go ahead and grab our motion animator from that since it's a child of it. So motion animator will equal animator.get component in children animator. So we'll go ahead and grab the animator that's attached to that character, and now we've got it ready for us. So now we can make ourselves a function that will allow us to call the motions on this particular character. Void and make this uh, set motion. And we're going to take a string for the motion name. I'll just elaborate on that, say animation name. Okay, so we define the animation, and then we're going to call our motion animator to play it. So motion animator dot play, and we'll play the animation name. So in test character, we've got mal, and then maybe I'll go ahead and yield uh, return new wait for seconds, because you've always got that initial delay uh, at the Unity startup while you're in the edit mode. And then we'll go ahead and say mal dot set motion, and I'm going to draw a healing heart, because I remember that's the name of one of the animations. So let's see what, how this works. Okay, so Unity crashed on me, and I had to uh, redo a couple things. But same principle applies, I just uh, haven't gone through and renamed the rest of these animations yet. So everything's still the same. Uh, we're still trying to do Healing Heart, and let's go ahead and launch the game and see what happens. So we wait a second, and nothing happens. Instead, what we get in the console is animator.goToState could not be found. So it's not finding the animation we're trying to call. And actually, we need to change this a little bit. I forgot that get component in children also includes the component that you're calling this from. So we're getting animator um, instead of the child of animator. So what we need to do is just reference transform dot get child and let's go ahead and get the only child of this object, which is the live 2D character. If you have multiple children, then you'll have to change this accordingly or maybe do a search for the child by name. And then one more time, we're looking for mal.setMotionHealingHeart after one second. Okay, so there we go. And there we are. She has started her animation. And she should go back to the idle animation. It's snappy just because that's the way the animations are exported. So just keep that in mind when you export your animations for your live 2D characters. So one more time, I've gone ahead and renamed all these different animations. And they all transition back to idle. And that's basically how you do it. I've gone ahead and added two more calls here just so we can make sure the other links are working. But since it's just string based for the names of the animations, it should be the same. Go ahead and launch this with those other three animations ready. There we go. So we start the heart and then we go to the proud and then bounce. OK, so we are able to call the motions on our live 2D characters. And that is that. That just leaves us with having to get our expressions next, which are some finer controls for the live 2D characters. Okay, so that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one.